Today is the 5th of September, 2017, and my panels, my solar panels, finally came in. But we're looking at this one right here, and it looks like it's been repatched and retaped, plus a lot of scuff marks. Oh gosh, so we're going to cross our fingers, open it up, and hope everything is okay. Let's have a look. I'm going to just cut it in pieces, but that's okay, I think. I'm going to turn it around, since you saw the other side. Uh -huh. Well, it's got good styrofoam packing in there. So, chances are, this bad boy, oh, oh yeah, see? When I ordered it, I requested that Amazon do the packing, so. They did, and they always do a really good job for me. Anyway, okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Got some scuffs on there. But I think it's gonna, it's gonna buff out in a couple of places. That was the part that was against the cardboard. They put the styrofoam on the oh on the back of it, which is good. Inserts in. So this is one, and I have to say I'm not too disappointed. It's got a nice frame, and connectors. So. See what the rest of them look like. Same place. Well, that's okay. It just wipes right off. The oh, here is some kind of plastic thread on there, but it seems to roll off okay. All right. The styrofoam right here, you know, that might be worth the price. You can always use that. Now there, that's perfect. Well, except for this over here. That is looking good. We get more and more, more and more confident as we go. Here's number four. prepared for me. Four out of four and they look as advertised everything is looking good. I can't wait to get at least one of them out there hook it up to my battery system even though I'm not prepared at the site to just to see what kind of output we get. So I'll get back to you. Yeah looking good. These are two of my Renogy 12 volt solar panels 100 watt I made a uh, a stand for them yesterday set her up here it's not even in full sun the sun is way off to the to the left well to our right but I measured the output each panel is putting out 20 volts so I would say that's pretty darn good I'm really looking forward to getting the whole array set up. Thanks to Renogy and the quick service I got when I ordered them, I'm gonna have some fun this fall. The 
T posts are just to stabilize it in the wind. We had some really high wind. It didn't flinch. Had rain, didn't bother it a bit. Purchased four of these Renogy solar panels. 100 amp, 12 volt. So I'm gonna wire them in series parallel. I have two of them on an established mount at this time. The reason I did this, this is adjustable so I can adjust the angle at any time I want, depending on how high the sun is in the sky. I thought that was pretty ingenious of me. So these two I'm gonna wire in series and have a look at what kind of voltage we're getting. The sun is getting a little higher. I'm still not aimed at the sun, but we're pretty much in the right direction. 40.8 volts. So that means when we drop her down, voltage wise, we should increase the current expeditiously. Using our MPPT charge controller. I'll get that hooked up. Here's the situation. The connectors that I got for the solar and solar panels and the solar line will not accept my six gauge wire, which is right here. Okay? I have two alternatives. One, Splice on 8 gauge wire with a connector. This is positive to go to the solar panel. Number two, you got to have a breaker, circuit breaker, in line from the solar panel to the charge controller. So if I use 8 gauge, I want to run. 6 gauge wire because it's going to be at least 15 feet, I'm thinking, okay, to the charge controller. So, I take my 6 gauge, I mean my 8 gauge wire, connect it, and then the other end, I'm using this as my circuit breaker, okay, run it in and then six gauge out to the charge controller. What do you think? Think that ought to work? Well, I think it's gonna work just fine. I'm new to this, so I'm not tied to any old habits. All I get is what I learned from you guys off from YouTube. And so I'm trying to put my own innovative and spin on things. And maybe you can let me know where I'm screwing up, okay? All right, thanks. All right, we got 36.5 volts from the solar panel, 13 volts at the battery, 1.7 amps. And I have a lot to learn. <laughs> but kind of fun, isn't it? Tomorrow, we will tidy, tidy things up. Right now, as you can see, we're sitting in the shade, okay? But we're still putting out 36 volts. Cannot complain. Renogy, you make a good product. The solar panels are in total shade at this time. And, check this out, they're still putting out 16.5 volts, which is more than enough with the MPPT charge controller to charge the battery at 13.5 volts. So we are still charging our batteries, even though we're in total shade. Really interesting to see 
how long they continue to put out what we need. It's morning. The sun is not up yet. And I'm just going to check and see if these solar panels are doing anything in this dusky light here. Let's have a look. Well, according to my figuring, they're putting out 13.7 volts already. And it shows the sun is on them. Interesting, look at here. It shows that they're already charging the battery. Huh? That is too cool. And it's not even daytime yet. You know what I have to do now, don't you? I have to get these to the site. Get our cabin online. 